Good morning, everybody. Today's Mass is being offered for the repose of the soul of Robert Mitchell. And as we pray for the repose of the soul of Robert, we pray for healing in our community and in our neighborhood. For Peter Smith, for Margaret Balsh, and uh, many others. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Lord Jesus, you bless us. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O oh God, who willed that our infirmities be borne by your only begotten Son to show the value of human suffering. Listen in kindness to our prayers for our sisters and brothers who are sick. Grant that all who are oppressed by pain, distress, or other afflictions may know that they are chosen among those proclaimed blessed and are united to Christ in his suffering for the salvation of the world. And we pray that you bless Robert Mitchell with eternal rest through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Since the children share in blood and flesh, Jesus likewise shared in them, that through death he might destroy the one who has the power of death, that is, the devil, and free those who through fear and death had been subject to slavery in all their life. Surely he did not help angels but rather the descendants of Abraham. Therefore, he had to become like his brother and sister in every way, <laughs> that he may be a merciful and faithful <coughs> high priest before God to expiate the sins of the people. Because he himself was tested through what he suffered, he is able to help us, those who are being tested. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. Give thanks to the Lord. Invoke his name. Make known among all nations his deeds. Sing to him. Sing his praise. Proclaim all his wondrous deeds. The Lord, the Lord remembers, remembers his, his covenant, covenant forever. Glory in his holy name. Rejoice. O hearts that seek the Lord, look to the Lord in his strength, seek to serve him constantly. The, the Lord, Lord remembers, remembers his covenant forever. You descendants of Abraham, his servants, sons of Jacob, his chosen ones, he the Lord is our God. Throughout the earth his judgment prevails. The Lord, the Lord remembers, remembers his covenant, covenant forever. He remembers forever his covenant, which he made binding for a thousand, for thousand generations, which he entered into with Abraham and by his oath to Isaac. The, the Lord, Lord remembers, remembers his, his covenant, covenant forever. Alleluia, alleluia. My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them and they follow me. Alleluia, alleluia.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. On leaving the synagogue, Jesus entered the house of Simon and Andrew with James and John. Simon's mother-in-law lay sick with a fever. They immediately told her about her. He approached, grasped her hand and helped her up. Then the fever left her and she waited on them. When it was evening after sunset, they brought to him all who were ill or possessed by demons. The whole town was gathered at the door. He cured many who were sick with various diseases and he drove out many demons, not permitting them to speak because they knew him. Rising very early before dawn, he left and went off to a deserted place where he prayed. Simon and those who were with him pursued him and on finding him said, Everyone is looking for you. He told them, let's go on to the nearby villages that I may preach there also. For this purpose have I come. So he went into their synagogues, preaching and driving out demons throughout the whole of Galilee. Sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Our God is a God of life. It's true that he is the God of the living and of the dead. But in his own words, in John 10.10, 10, where he says, I came that you may have life and have it in its abundance, in its fullness, he impresses on us that he wants us to live and be alive in every sense of the word. And the gospel of the day, and in particular, the way he cures the mother-in-law of Simon Peter is a case in point. Notice that sense of urgency. There is violence, so to say, in his action. He grasps her by the hand and pulls her off as though saving something that is drowning, bringing to life something that is dying. That is who God is. And how beautiful the doors of Simon Peter's house are thrown open and the whole neighborhood flocks there with their sick, with the possessed, with the maimed, with the blind, and the Lord, we are told, cures all of them. Well, our thoughts go towards those that are sick in our families, in our neighborhood, and in our nation. In particular, those that are afflicted by COVID-19, the patients themselves, their families, the health workers, the first responders. And uh, we also add to this long list those that distribute and administer the vaccines those that legislate and think of strategies to reach the vaccine to citizens around the nation. Let's pray that as a nation, we may turn to the Lord, the Lord who heals, the Lord who brings us back to life, the Lord who continues to breathe his life in us. To conclude, Physical illness is always seen as a stand-in for spiritual illness. And that is why before he would heal anyone, before he would cure someone, the Lord would always forgive their sins and 
cleanse them, purify them, sanctify them, and uh, make them spiritual, and then the physical takes care of itself. And so, let's pray that uh, as a nation, we may repent, that we may come back to the Lord, that we may go through this conversion, that uh, coming to the Lord, you and I, and our entire nation, and the nations of the world, will be healed in the right sense of the word. For our God is a God of the living and the dead. He came, and he continues to come to us, that we may have life and have it in its abundance. Let's rise for the intercessions for the Church of God that she will continue with her ministry of healing, that her teaching may be healing and uh, healing may be teaching. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For our nation that stands so much in need of healing, healing in the hearts and minds of people, for peace in our hearts and in our homes, for light and clarity in our nation. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our president and for our president-elect, that God may bless them, that in all they do, may they keep in mind the good of the American people. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the many who are ill, for those that are fighting COVID-19, either in their body or by their presence with the patients they minister to, that uh, their efforts will be blessed by the Lord and brought to fruition. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Peter Smith, for Margaret Balch, and for many others that are sick in our neighborhood, that God may touch them and heal them, and that their families may come back to the church to thank the Lord for the healing that he bestows on them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the repose of the soul of Robert Mitchell, for whom we offer this Mass, that God may bless Robert with eternal rest, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And finally, for all the benefactors of St. John Vianney, for those that participate in liturgical services from their home or in person on the church campus, for those that are engaged in various ministries in many ways, that the Lord may bless them and keep them safe, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We ask all this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer fruit of the earth and work of human hands that will become our spiritual food. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands it will become our spiritual drink. Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Pray, dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father.
since the moments of our life unfold, O God, according to your good pleasure, receive the prayers and sacrificial offerings by which we implore your mercy for our sisters and brothers who are ill, that having been anxious for them in their danger, we may rejoice at their recovery of health. And we pray for the repose of the soul of Robert Mitchell through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For just as through your beloved Son you created us, so also through him, with great goodness, you formed us anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, and all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly beseech you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of your beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for all for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wonders, resurrection, and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. 
May he make us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her beloved spouse, with your apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. John Vianney, our patron. and intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing health. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation throughout the world to our departed parents, sisters and brothers and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life especially Robert Mitchell give kind admittance to your kingdom there we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. And in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let's pray for healing in our hearts and in our homes, in our city and certainly in our nation as we pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. You who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's offer one another a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. engage in spiritual communion, a little reminder and invitation to pray for those to whom we have promised prayers. I would also ask you to pray for Peter Smith and Margaret Mitchell or Margaret uh, Balch, that God may touch them and heal them. We also pray for the repose of the soul of Robert Mitchell. 
May the Lord lead him home to paradise. And so we pray. O oh God, only support of our human weakness. Show the power of your protection over your servants who are sick, that sustained by your merciful help, they may be restored to your holy church in good health. We pray this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go announce the Gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God.